and welcome to another Fresh Off The Stalls. Uh, I'm here with Ian again, and if you're wondering what we've been to see, uh, we can part, part as if could, da 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 da. Joan! For me, this is actually the second time I have seen this show. I saw it in the Edinburgh previews at the Battery Arts Centre last year, and I didn't see it in Edinburgh because I had lots of other stuff to see. So when I heard it was coming back to London to the Oval House, I leapt at the chance to do this because I love this show so, so much. And I'm going to come out, bring it over to you now, Ian, because did it live up to my expect uh, to the expectations that I I, I, I put it up to? Um, yes, yes, it did. Um, it's not a story I know well, the story of Joan of Arc, um, but it was well. It was pretty wow, to be honest. Um, really emotional. Um, one might almost say visceral, to to coin a phrase, a cliché phrase. Um, but um, no yeah, clichés. No clichés. Scratch your eyes out. What I loved about this is that last time I saw it, it completely smashed me emotionally. I didn't know what to expect, and what I saw was just fantastic. It's sublimely erotic. It goes from these exuberant drinking numbers to really hard-hitting, deeply emotional, poetic theatre. And it, it, it's just too much to handle it. it, it it's emotional whiplash of the, the highest order. And second time around, it still hasn't lost any other impact. I'm still, it was still an absolute mess. I've had to have a, a chicken bucket and a beer to sort of bring me around to actually be able to speak to the camera. Otherwise I'd just be crying again, like I usually do. There's so many really clever, interesting things in the production as well, like um, the sort of cross traverse. I don't know if what yeah, you like, call it. It's like in the round, but the stage is yeah. cross with mirrors at the end of each yeah. of the aisles. And the fact that each mirror almost represents a character, so she's seeing the men in her life reflected in her whilst being so uh, kind of like trying to find her personality. Um, just little things like that. There's loads of them. I could list them off for uh, the, the, ages. The lighting, absolutely fantastic. Oh, some of the best lighting. Uh, I love the bit where she's standing there, and the light is being reflected off the mirror behind her, onto her backlit. So you literally got shafts of light coming off her, as if something angelic, as if illuminated something halo. Yeah, a halo. But what I really love about the writing. Um, as an exploration of Joan as a character, it kind of explores Jones as <laughs> arguably a trans character, rather than kind of say, yeah, it's trans, it's trans. What it does, it explores Joan as a person. I think that's what's so deeply yeah. moving. It's it not, not as a religious figure, not as a historical figure, but as a real. Not person. even, not even a, 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 <laughs> as, as a sort of trans role model either. It's just as a person, and that's what's so deeply devastating about the entire. So, thing. I mean, I got to hand it to Lucy J. Skillbeck. We have to look at the thing. There's two Lucys involved. It gets confusing. At least I get confused. Um, it's, it's a stupendous writer. I said this the last time I saw this as well. So poetic, so deep, so human. And then of course you've got uh, Lucy Jane Parkinson, also known as AKA Lucifer, a award-winning drag king artist, who is not only an amazing drag king, and the drag numbers in the show were just superb, but an exquisite actor at the same time. Yeah, fantastic. Any criticisms? <laughs> Anything you can criticize? Uh, we are uh, critics. There's, there's, there's little that I didn't love about the show. Yeah. I love the interaction with the audience. I love I the staging, I love the lighting, and I love the songs. So yeah. it's everything for me. What would you give it out of five? It's a tough one. You just said you, just said you loved everything. Well, then and you couldn't five. criticize it. I find star ratings reductive. No, 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 no. What would you give it out of five? For me, it has to be a five. Has to be a five. And again, I gave it five last time. Why the hell would I not give it five again? Brilliant, brilliant show. If you missed it on its last round, if you missed it in Edinburgh, do, do, do get to see it at the Oval House. This is something else. Something else? Something else. The else of something. <laughs>